All right. So I'm very excited today to bring Justin on the channel. Justin was able to land a job at a, I think, Fortune 500 uh, tech company, like a really, really big, well-known tech company. And his wife was also able to land a job uh, using the methods that we're going to be talking about in today's video. And they were able to do it in a very short period of time. So they both discovered uh, the same methods uh, by watching content online. And they both tried it and they were both able to land a job in a very short period of time, which is awesome. Um, so, hey, Justin, thank you so much for coming on the channel. I appreciate it. It's definitely an honor, Shane. Glad to be here. Awesome. Awesome. All right. Well, hey, let's get into it. So first of all, take me all the way back to the beginning. You know, you did it like I, I think you were uh, you were working uh, as a car salesman. I don't think you knew too much about the career you got into in tech. But, you know, uh, tell me about that that period of time for you. Certainly, Shane. Um, man, this just feels so good to like be here. So literally, um, my wife was a stay at home mom. Uh, we have three children. We've been married nine years, our oldest child, six years old. And I was working for a new car dealership. And, uh, and I made the most money that I had made on any job in my life selling cars. I started doing that during the pandemic, first sales job. And I first heard of tech sales, which was like foreign to me from a friend of ours who went into tech sales a year ago. And she actually works for like literally one of the top companies to work for and didn't really pay attention to her. She would tell us about her journey, never would pay attention to her. And then when she got hired and she's telling me like, yeah, I'm, I'm projected to make six figures. And in my mind, I'm like, doing something called tech sales. That sounds weird. I'm like, maybe you will, maybe you won't kind of thing. And so we came across course careers specifically, and then we heard an elaborate explanation of tech sales on Anthony O'Neill's show. Now, Anthony O'Neill, Shane, is someone who my wife and I have followed for years. So we didn't just hear of Anthony O'Neill. We respect him. We take what he says very seriously. And so my wife discovered it. She brought it to my attention because we both were already looking for a career transition that we could do together because we like working together. So I did a lot of homework, definitely. I, I looked up reviews on more than one platform of them. Uh, of course, I went to Course Careers YouTube, but then I tried to search up people outside of like Course Careers YouTube to just try to get an understanding of who they were. And everything checked off good for me. After my homework, I felt like this was definitely a way to go that we should devote ourselves wholeheartedly to. And so I made the decision to my wife. I'm like, look, we're going to do this. And she was kind of apprehensive at first, but she was on board. We started Course Careers in the same day. And um, and then the rest was history. That's awesome. Yeah. And hey, I tell people all the time, like, make sure you do your own research on anything, right? Like, Anything that I allow on my channel, I do a crazy amount of due diligence on before I even think about allowing it on my channel. I mean, we all saw what happened uh, with like the whole FTX situation with all these uh, influencers yeah. <laughs> promoting FTX. Like, I, I don't want that to happen with anything I ever promote. Right. And I've been like so, that since the beginning. But yeah, course careers is legit. I mean, it's as legit as it gets. It gets people insane amounts of results. And I think Anthony O'Neill, if I'm if I'm correct, I, I have watched some of his videos. I think he's under kind of the Dave Ramsey brand, I believe, or something. Yeah. So so Anthony O'Neill, he at one point, he definitely he was an actual Dave Ramsey personality. Um, he was on the Dave Ramsey show. And, and that's how we discovered them from following Dave Ramsey years back. And then in recent years, Anthony O'Neill, he branched off and, and now he carries his own brand now. You know, Anthony O'Neill, he he has his own flavor, his own touch, his own expression that definitely a lot, you know, a different group of people can relate to. For sure. For sure. Yeah. His content's awesome. I love what he's doing for sure. Awesome. So you and your wife both decided to go into course careers after discovering it, uh, just kind of browsing the internet and just checking everything out. Um, and then tell me about that experience for you going through course careers. So what was the curriculum like? How was the experience? Um, yeah, yeah, just, just kind of share that if you could. Yeah. So the, the material within itself, I like to describe it like this. I felt like Troy, the CEO, didn't leave any stone unturned in terms of the preparation that went into it 
um, just as someone who is personally looking to have more of a of an entrepreneurial mindset of just taking ownership over my finances, creating systems, I could really appreciate and respect the material. So with that being said, Course Careers has a lot of information to offer. And I would dare to say it literally, it, it does cover every area that you need to. To the point from a practical level, I've landed a job but yet course careers is still a resource that I can go back to, to learn, to understand not just the role of an SDR, but even how to function in certain softwares, whether it's sales engagement, CRM, sales data platform, you name it. I mean, it's, it's really incredible, even down to how my wife and I actually received the job through our ability to prospect, through our ability to understand how to follow up, how to find people's emails when their emails isn't listed on LinkedIn. So we learned and acquired this um, through course careers. It from from an experience standpoint, it it took a lot more focus than I personally anticipated. And I mean that in a good way. Um, it, it wasn't something, you know, that I could just kind of halfway give my mind to wing it, wing it through the 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 final exam. Uh, the, the final exam was extremely thorough. It it took a lot of time to actually prepare because of how the questions are worded. Um, because of the different methods of how you answer, you you have to know the material graduating. And so that is something that is greatly respected by my wife and I, because to go through a course and you actually have to understand the course material that will prepare you to ultimately get the job that you're looking to get is brilliant. Uh, and then, you know, the the price on it, obviously that that was a big thing for us on why we originally decided. And listen, Shane, it it, it was worth every single penny. Uh, uh, and, and I can say that looking back now, because my wife and I have something tangible that we're holding in our hands and 450 bucks with a coupon, it's like that, that, that really is insane to me. And the fact that it actually brought the results with it. <laughs> Absolutely. And hey, speaking of that, the course will be linked down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. Um, so if you guys want to check out a free training that course uh, that Troy has, he does have a free training that'll kind of tell you about, you know, SDR, BDR, what exactly tech sales is, what would you would be doing on a day to day basis, what the opportunities are, etc. Uh, you can check that out. And then afterwards, if you decide to buy the full course, uh, there will be a pinned uh, comment. I think it's Shane 50 is the uh, the coupon code. Let's go ahead and uh, how many interviews did you and your wife have after course career? Certainly. So my wife, from three weeks of her putting in her initial application, she had four job offers. I think she interviewed with a total of maybe eight different companies. I interviewed with about six different companies when it was all said and done. And I had two job offers and two other companies, I was still basically in the interviewing process. You go on multiple interviews usually. Mm -hmm. And and I just went ahead and accepted the position with Intuit um, at that time. Uh, so definitely we were, we were able to get in front of companies. Again, Coach Careers prepares you for that, right? So, I mean, it literally prepares you on from how to do a LinkedIn to basically how to actually understand the interview from start to finish. So going into it, we kind of already, obviously we had a mindset for it. We knew the role of an SDR, whether we went to school for college for business or not, because we were well equipped. So anything that was thrown at us question-wise concerning the role, we understood it. Um, I guess you could say as if we went to a university for it. So, so that was cool. So how long did it take you to land those, those first roles? Uh, for you and then as well as your wife. Yeah. So it took just a shade under three months, Shane, a, a okay. shade under three months, which um, which we we were excited about that. And and so in context, again, we're married, three children, all six years old and under, with both of us going through this. I was working full time for half of that time period. And I was also creating content almost full time while going through the course. And so for us to still be able to basically land preferred jobs, 
really. And I mean, and I can't say that we were necessarily expecting that, although I was strategically, I wanted to go for obviously the best, Um, but literally like my number one choice company, like I was able to land that. And out of the offers that my wife got, I mean, my wife gets paid more than me, like out the gates, like substantially. And, and she literally landed a job with one of the fastest growing startup companies in the world. So just incredible, right under three months. Wow, that's awesome. And just uh, for a little bit of context, uh, for people who aren't aware, Intuit is like a massive kind of like umbrella financial company that owns a bunch of other products that you've probably heard of. I think they still own Mint, which is kind of like, yeah. uh, you know, like a little bit like QuickBooks, a little bit. And, and right. yeah, but it's like, yeah, uh, Intuit right. is a massive uh, company. Oh, yeah. I've used several of their products before. So really, really awesome. You were able to land a job there. And then your wife took the kind of like a job with a really fast growing startup. So that's kind of a, a little bit higher risk, higher reward type move, sort of. But, um, you know, yeah. both of those are really super solid options for the first job uh, that you get where you're going to be learning so much on the job every single day. So that's awesome. Um, I know that everybody's going to be wondering. So if you would like to share, I'll let you share as much as you'd like. Uh, how how much were these first job offers that that you guys got? Yeah, certainly. So with me, I took what's called a full-time contract position with Intuit. And so with a company of that caliber, it's more common to take a contract job or some type of position to get your foot in the door. Even with that, I'm still expected to make up to 60 grand. And if I go into a permanent position anytime soon, right, within months, then that pay could be anywhere from, if I remember from Glassdoor, anywhere from 70 up to six figures. And my wife, and and, and I'll be pretty transparent, my wife, her base salary uh, is $60,000. And so base salary 60, and then OTE, so on target earnings, meaning if she just hit her quota every month, she'll make 80 grand, but her commission is completely uncapped. Wow. So <laughs> That's amazing. That's incredible. Right. First job right, right. Up, right out the right. blocks. Just man, that's incredible. 80 plus and yeah. You both have uh, awesome, awesome stuff going. So combined, you guys are just absolutely killing it now. <laughs> yeah, definitely. And look, and, and this is like, this is just cool because again, right, we're, we're like new to tech. So like, we don't even know mm -hmm. this world existed you know, just like a few months ago. And so we're like, we're excited. I had the camera out earlier, uh, a new MacBook arrived for my wife today. And so her company sent her a MacBook, they're sending a computer and they're sending the latest generation iPhone and a bicycle. What? <laughs> so that, That's I mean, it's like, incredible. Crazy, right? It's, it's 20, 20 paid time off days, like in the first year. I mean, our family literally has the highest healthcare insurance that you mm -hmm. can get, all of our family. And we have like pet insurance too, through the job. I mean, it's, it's wow. yeah, I mean, we're like literally, like we're sitting back, like opening the packages and we're like looking at each other, like, can you, like, can you believe like this is happening from, like we enrolled in this course that we saw like on a show on YouTube like three months ago. And now like we're really about to change the trajectory um, of, of our family's financial goals. I mean, it's incredible. <laughs> that's awesome. Wow. Yeah. And that's, that's the thing is like people kind of pay attention to the the numbers and, and that is important. Like you need to make sure you're getting paid a lot, but in tech, there's just so many benefits that you have. I mean, you can work remote if you want. You can even work fully remote. I have a friend living in Japan right now working in tech. You can just travel the world if you'd like. Um, there's so many benefits, health insurance. They send you free stuff. They spoil you. And that's the thing is if you're learning these highly in-demand skills that the tech industry requires, um, that college pretty much just doesn't teach in most cases. So it's kind of hard to acquire these skills. Um, wow. they just spoil you, you know? So it's like, <laughs> that's kind of why I, I tell people to, to go into these careers. It's, uh, I mean, it's, it's incredible. So, oh, and by the way, I, I wanted to mention, I, I love your channel. So, uh, Justin and his wife actually have a channel where they're documenting their journey of going into tech. So this is really awesome. It's, it's kind of like one of those channels where you're kind of going with them as they, as they go through this journey of uh, kind of transitioning into tech and they just started it. You, you've almost got a thousand subscribers. So that's awesome. 
And I will uh, link that channel down in the description uh, below. So definitely check out the channel. It's called Tech Journey. So that is uh, that is really awesome. You guys are kind of documenting your journey for for other people. They can kind of see it's not just somebody who's already, you know, like 10 years into tech. It's somebody who just started going into it. I think there's a lot of value there for sure. Thank so, you so much. You got it. You got it. Um, so what would you say to somebody who is thinking about trying to get into tech and, you know, they're thinking about maybe even tech sales or another tech career as well, um, because there's a lot of really good ones. Uh, and they're maybe thinking about, you know, using course careers. What would you say to that person? Absolutely. You know, and, and, and so I answer this twofold, Shane, and I'm going to answer how I really answer people. Obviously, you have to make sure it's what you want to go into, right? So you do your own homework. If you figure out, hey, tech sales looks like something suitable for me, you know, which course should I get into? Well, I'm going to say course careers night and day because I can speak from experience. I've done course careers, right? And, and it was effective for me. And, and the reasons that I chose course careers, I feel like that could apply to most people because I'm married. I have three children. We're mindful of our finances. Like we, we wasn't like rolling in dough leading up to this moment. And so when I saw, okay, $450 with the coupon, I know how much other courses cost. And in my mind, I'm like, well, my wife and I could just work really hard if somehow you won't get paid this much paying $450 for a course as opposed to a higher course. I mean, we didn't know. We got into it and my wife ended up landing a job where that's really the highest base salary that I've heard of for a starting SDR. And, and that was all through $450 course, right? And, mm -hmm. and in terms of what you get from it, so not just the material, like I talked about that already, but the network, Shane, I mean, like, in my opinion, course grid is like an army. So like, <laughs> I mean, it's crazy. So like my wife and I, now we're in a position, you know, yeah, we have like this small little community forming on through YouTube. And so of course, people reach out to us for help. And yeah, we will help anyone. But I know that I was helped from people in course careers while I was going through course careers. I landed the job at Intuit because someone who went through the program of course careers referred me to a recruiter. And that is how I got like I landed that job. And I don't think I ever put in an actual application for the role. And this was through yeah. network within course careers. And so when my wife and I receive an email and someone tells us, hey, I just enrolled in course careers, I'm looking for some advice that I mean, that lights us up because now it's like you're coming into a part of like what we've came to. So that camaraderie that's there, if you have the work ethic, and you know, that it's something that you want to do, then night and day, hands down, I would choose course careers for sure. That's awesome. All right. Well, hey, thank you so much for sharing your story, sharing the journey. Uh, it's been super fun interviewing you and, and just like listening to this. And yeah, this is this is the kind of thing that hasn't been possible until just the last few years. Um, and now it's possible to just go into kind of a high demand, high paying career in a very short period of time. Sometimes, I mean, we have people getting into careers in two weeks sometimes in extreme cases when they're, when they don't have a full-time job and a family, of course, when they, when they can just dedicate all their time to studying. Um, but yeah, this is, this is possible. This is out there. And it, it's just funny that it tends to be the best jobs as well that you can get into relatively quickly too, because there's just so much demand for these jobs that companies are kind of willing to train people and kind of if they have like that baseline set of knowledge they're able to kind of train people and just invest in them um, and companies are more than happy to do that uh, to fill these positions yeah this is uh, a massive amount of demand and it's not going to slow down anytime soon that's more motivation thank you for that shane you got it <laughs>